Hey there, this is Ben Freer, and in this video, I share a recent E2 change of status success story. I will cover my client's decision to file for change of status, his investment, and the application process. If any of you have seen any of my other videos, you probably know that I'm not a huge fan of change of status applications. This is due to a few different reasons. First of all, a change of status application does not result in a visa. An approved change of status application does not guarantee that you'll be successful on your subsequent visa application. And even though the primary applicant can apply for premium processing to sort of speed things up, the family members cannot use premium processing to change their status. Despite all the drawbacks of applying for a change of status, in my client situation, I was 100% in favor of this path. And here's the reason. The embassy in his home country was not scheduling E2 visa applications at the time. So after we discussed other alternatives, such as applying as a third country national in a different country, he concluded that the E2 change of status application, while not ideal, would probably be his best option. Okay, so let's get to the fun part and talk about the business. What did my client invest in? To give you some background, my client had a successful career in the banking industry, but he always had a passion for coffee. He was curious about coffee, he became a certified barista, and he wanted to use this knowledge and management experience to run a coffee shop in the United States. When he reached out to me, he was already in the US on a visitor visa. And while he was here, I explained that a successful E2 change of status application would require him to place his investment at risk and fully set up the business before applying. Now this reality is, is really scary. You're taking a huge leap of faith because a successful E2 change of status application is never a sure thing. So in a nightmare scenario, you could spend a lot of money to set up a business that you are not able to run because you don't have the proper status. But since my client was dedicated to pursuing his dream, he pushed past all these common fears and he took the steps that were required to make his dream a reality. During a short four month period, he did some amazing work and completed the following tasks. First, he formed an LLC and applied for an EIN, which allowed him to open up his business bank account. Once this account was established, he transferred personal funds into the business bank account and began spending on everything that he needed to establish the business. The purchases included, naturally, an espresso machine, equipment, website development, and professional fees. Also, he was able to sign a lease for a beautiful historic space in a high traffic downtown location, and he paid for advanced rent and renovations. His total investment at the time of making the application was about $80,000, which included about $10,000 in the operating account. My client submitted the application after he obtained the required permits to run the business. So let's talk briefly about the application process. We filed the I-129 along with a considerable stack of documents that demonstrated that he met the E-2 requirements. We also filed the form I-539 to change his wife's status. My client shelled out the extra $2,500 for premium processing. So what happened? Since my client did everything right, I was not surprised at all when he was approved three weeks after he submitted his application. However, I was pleasantly surprised that his wife's change of status was approved around the same time. Now, I have to admit, I felt really good about this one. Although my client deserves the vast majority of the credit for his successful process, I was very proud to have played a very small role in helping him open up his dream business that he can now run in the United States. So I hope this video was useful. If you did find it to be helpful, please like it or pass it along to someone who may benefit from it.